Hi everybody, I'm Gennady Popov, I'm the founder of SkyChain. Today we are having an exciting event. We're going to compare diagnoses made by AI with those made by flesh and blood doctors. Some of Moscow's best diagnosticians in their field of medicine have kindly joined us today. A few AI systems running on SkyChain and trained on large amounts of data will make their diagnosis too. The results will be displayed here. We will see the number of false positive and false negative results for each case. Let's start and see what happens. While the contest is going on, we can see some new neural networks being trained. It means that soon enough, we're going to have more diagnostic modules. Here you can see the results. There are false positive and false negative results. The flesh and blood doctors and our AI systems have produced similar results. As you can see, our technology actually works. Thanks a lot for joining us today. Could you please provide your opinion? Is our technology useful? Does it have a future? As far as I can see, it does have a future. At the very least, such research and development, especially involving artificial intelligence, can help medical doctors in their work. Chances are, if such technology is sufficiently refined, it can eventually find wider application. How can it help people? I mean, medical doctors. It's a second opinion. Say the computer produces a result that can draw the doctor's attention, for example, to a specific EKG or other medical examination data. Then the doctor can take a closer look at the data and possibly arrive at a different conclusion. First of all, I'd like to thank all of you for your work and for the contest. Your research and development is very important. They will be most useful for mass screening, especially on Melanoma Day, when a lot of people are examined for melanoma. It takes a fraction of a second for a computer system based on neural networks can detect a medical condition in a fraction of a second. What are the possible limitations of such systems? First of all, there can be some doubtful cases when the diagnostic results can be interpreted in different ways. So I recommend making a final diagnosis based on more data, such as medical history, the patient's complaints, and the course of the disease. Well, the contest was exciting enough. As you can see, the model was well trained. The data sets used for its training were large enough. It's several thousand images for each medical condition. All in all, the results are good. But the doctors are right, it's not as simple as it looks. We should keep in mind that AI so far operates in ideal conditions when detecting diseases. Maybe someday doctors will get a wonderful tool that will help them dramatically reduce the number of medical errors. By the way, there is no reason to be afraid of AI. Neural networks are not going to make doctors redundant. First, we cannot allow the computer to make a final diagnosis. Second, as I've said, it's not as simple as it looks. Hopefully our joint efforts can help a lot of people. I'd like to tell you about our project, SkyChain. We're building an infrastructure to bring together all the key parties of the healthcare AI market, big data providers whose data sets are vital for AI training, a lot of independent developers who will create AI modules based on that data, and consumers. We are going to ensure secure transactions between all the parties. Thanks to that, AI developers won't have to buy healthcare big data, data sets. Instead, they'll be able to train their neural networks on healthcare data sets for free. Each trained neural network will be locked forever in SkyChain and will be available to consumers. The consumers, medical doctors, will have a wide choice of AI modules. They will be able to sort them based on their ratings, search for them, and select the ones most suitable for their specific needs. In fact, that's the core idea of our project. 